You're not going to believe this, but one of the greatest guitar players of all times comes running through our store once a month and asks us to restring his guitar. The guy plays as well as anybody in the whole world, but yet he doesn't know how to string his guitar properly. So we're going to walk through this process today and, and help everybody learn how to string their acoustic guitar properly. A few things that you may need that will help you with this process. One is a good set of strings. Some of the best strings on the market, my favorite, are the Everly Sessions. You can get these at allmusic.com. Inexpensive, last quite a long time. The other thing that you'll need is a set of wire cutters, any hardware store, and this little handy tool which is called a peg winder that you can get at allmusic.com, $2, very well worth the money. So let's start this process on how to string your acoustic guitar. Okay, first thing that we need to do is take the strings off. Some people like to take off all the strings. Some people like to take off a few of the strings. I personally like to do it one string at a time. The neck has tension on it by the strings. Once you take all the strings off, you've taken that tension off of the neck, the neck can move. In the event that happens, you may have to go back into the store, have a guitar tech set your guitar back up. So it's just, it's best to go ahead and do it one string at a time. First thing you're going to do is put your peg winder on the tuning peg and turn it clockwise. This loosens up the string, takes the tension off of it so we can cut it. Take your wire cutters, cut it. We're going to remove it from the peg and now we need to go to this end and remove it from the bridge. Our peg winder has a little indention here that fits on the peg. You put it in there, pull it up, string comes out, very easy. Next thing we want to do is take our new string and on this end it has a ball and we're going to take this end with the ball and we're going to bend it over just a little bit just bend it a little bit so that it fits in here and fits in the groove properly so that it doesn't pull up as we start tightening. So we put the ball down in the hole put the string peg back in there. Now we're going to run this through the tuning peg, the string through here, and we're going to pull it tight up until we have about one inch off the neck of the guitar. Now, with this end, come back towards the back side of the tuning peg and put it up under the string itself. So you're going to come around to the end behind the peg here and go under the string itself, and then once you get it over here, twist it over the top of the string. So it's under and then twist over. Once you've done that, take your peg winder and this time you want to do it counterclockwise to tighten it. Counterclockwise to tighten it. By doing that, that puts all your strings on the inside of the headstock here instead of them coming on the outside. Tighten it up to where it is, it needs to be. Just close, snug it up, we'll tune it later. At this point, Bend it back over good and cut it close because these ends can hurt and then also tear up your gig bag. And that's all you got to do to string your acoustic guitar. And like I say, there's a lot of people who play that are world class players that don't know how to string their guitar right. Do you think you got it this time?